more traditional fabrics like specifically plaid tweeds and uh, donegals and all these really traditional hardy cloths are all coming back into style because people are looking for something that has a lot of substance to it. People want something that they know they can wear for years, something that when they invest in it and they go to wear it two, three, four, five, ten years down the line, they're going to be happy with what they've bought. This actually might work. It's pretty close to the... Uh... Yeah, this might work. You don't have to dress classically to wear plaid or to wear tweed or to wear Donegal or to wear any of these really hardy, heavy cloths. Uh, you can wear them in creative, interesting ways. What's, what's really great about these cloths is just how much there is to the cloth itself. So it's almost like having great paint to paint a canvas. You get something uh, really beautiful, really wonderful, really amazingly made, and you can then kind of do with it whatever you want and put your own spin on it. I don't know if bold plaid says as much about the person who's wearing it as the person who's wearing it is trying to communicate something by picking out a bold cloth. Uh, you kind of get to take these really beautiful, brilliant colors that come from very traditional places, the countryside, uh, shooting, fishing, hunting, all of, these, all of these very, very old school things, and then you take them and you put them in the middle of Manhattan and you're certainly making a statement. I think Good classic hardy fabrics are just a great foundation across the board. It doesn't matter whether you're making a very traditionally tailored draped sport coat or whether you want to make a really avant-garde casual jacket with a nipped waist and a technical waterproof lining. It's, it's really the sky's the limit with these, with these fabrics. They're the original sportswear. So everybody thinks of plaid and tweed now as sort of old and professorial. But really, these, these things were the original sports clothes before there were nylon windbreakers and uh, bomber jackets. There's absolutely room for people who are a little more fashion forward to wear bold plaids and to wear tweed and to take these things that have been around for hundreds of years and, and in the most traditional circumstances and to do something new and interesting with it. Can you try this shirt? Actually? Sure. I actually have that shirt. <laughs> My favorite thing about these really amazing fabrics is just how much there is there when you start looking. You pick up a piece of tweed and it might look like solid green when you pick it up, and you start to look and you see that the slubs have pink and yellow and orange and blue in them. And you just, as, as you wear it, these slubs come out and you just end up with something so much more amazing than what you started with.